Hello, my name is Justina Luchnik, and I'm a program manager on the Power BI team. Today, I want to introduce you to our brand can campaign management solution template for Twitter. Much like with our previous templates, you can get set up really quickly with just a couple of clicks. All you need are some Twitter credentials, an Azure subscription, and of course, the Twitter search terms you want to listen out for. Behind the scenes, we'll spin up an ETL pipeline to pull data out of Twitter, enrich it using machine learning, and finally push the data into a data warehouse. We also provide you with a Power BI report where you can immediately start exploring your Twitter data. In this example, I'm tracking the Power BI keyword from the perspective of a program manager. I want to see what is currently trending, what sorts of topics are people discussing, and what difficulties people might be experiencing. The first page gives me an overview of everything that is being tweeted out of the accounts I follow. This means tweets, responses, and retweets made by Power BI itself. I can see which outbound tweets and hashtags are trending, and I can even drill into the raw tweets. The next page gives me a similar view, but from an inbound perspective. These are all the tweets being tweeted at Power BI. And as an example, I can drill into one of the previous days and look at the inbound tweets and see what sorts of things were being tweeted at Power BI. The next page is an impressive network visual that has actually been created by Microsoft Research, who have contributed a lot of the visuals that you see in this report. As a PM, I can monitor the volume of tweets coming in across time using this time brush at the bottom. And so I can drill into, let's say, a spike of tweets that I can see right over here by just dragging. This is going to, in turn, update my network visual. And now I can go ahead and start explore it. I can go ahead and see all the gray nodes, which are topics, and the blue nodes, which are my authors. I can see Power BI here as the center topic, and all of the, to all of the authors around it are tweeting about Power BI. What's even more interesting is I can go ahead and start exploring all of the other gray nodes around me to see which other topics are people also talking about in relation to Power BI. And if I zoom out more, I can start seeing clusters of blue authors form talking about Power BI and another topic. If I drill into one of these clusters and I can use my text filter, I can actually go ahead and see that the topics that people are talking about is our stats. And I can click on this node to cross filter my time filter at the bottom. And what's interesting over here is that I can actually see that over time, not many people were talking about our stats until this very point in time over here. So something interesting must have happened at this point in time. I can now go ahead and use my hashtag filter over here to drill into R and R stats, which were the two hashtags I noticed on the previous page, to see what people are actually saying in terms of the raw tweets. I can go ahead and select the time period I was interested in, much like before. And as I start exploring the raw tweets themselves, I can actually see that Power BI service now supports our visuals. So this was an update that Power BI did where it now supported the creation of our visualizations inside the Power BI service. I can see some additional statistics around this, such as let's say the number of unique tweets, as well as that the sentiment is generally neutral or positive. As time goes by, I will probably want to continue monitoring these hashtags and see if any negative sentiment ends up creeping in due to things like potential bugs. I now navigate to a page dedicated to sentiment. On the left-hand side, I can see graphs showing the average sentiment of a tweet aggregated by author or a hashtag below. I also get an additional dimension, which is the count of tweets. This is important to me as I might be worried about an author who consistently authors moderately negative tweets a lot more than an author who may author a one-off negative tweet. Luckily, in my case, I can see a lot of consistent positive authors and very few negative authors. I can quickly identify negative tweets, though, and drill into them and quickly identify bugs users may have hit. And as a PM, I can immediately respond to make sure that the problems being addressed have been resolved. Finally, I can use another very interesting Microsoft Research visual, this, the table sorter, to find my most impactful tweets. After choosing a number of variables that define impact for me, such as sentiment, the number of retweets, and the number of followers, I can stack these variables to show me the tweets with the largest impact. I can even go ahead and reweight variables 
and I can give certain things more, more impact. So if sentiment is something very important to me, I can go ahead and give it a weighting of 4. And when I press OK, my table sorter will go ahead and update to reflect the most impactful tweets based on this new condition that I defined. Thank you for watching a demo of our brand and campaign management solution template for Twitter. Please give it a go by navigating to the solution template page on the Power BI website and do let us know what you think. Thanks a lot.